welcome back. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I hope you um, have a little look around and uh, subscribe and, and join the little family here. So a couple of weeks ago now, um, I was really, really lucky to be invited to an event that was showcasing all of the new stuff that's going to be coming up from Sephora. So every six months or so, um, Sephora, through their PR agency here in Australia, um, puts on a, a massive event, almost like a trade show sort of vibe, um, where you walk around this big venue and there's all these little stalls and um, uh, there's lots of sales reps and brand reps who are there and they're showing you all of the new products that's going to be coming out from all the brands in Sephora. So all of the massive brands are there, so like Becca and Tarte, um, Kat Von D, Cover FX, a lot of the skincare companies. Um, and they're all, yeah, like I said, just there to show um, beauty bloggers and influencers and all that sort of stuff. Um, all the stuff that's coming up soon. And also they give us a massive goodie bag. It was enormous. Um, big, like mine was a massive um, uh, beach bag. Just full of stuff. I'd say there's like 50, 60 products in there. I'm not sure. Um, everything ranging from um, makeup to skincare, hair care, tools, all sorts of stuff. And I've been really, really busy over the last couple of weeks um, making my way through that bag. And I've tried out lots of the skincare and I've tried out lots of the makeup and the tools. And I thought I'd get on here and I'd show you um, 15 of the best products that I got in my goodie bag. Now, of course, I haven't used everything in that bag. Skincare in particular, it takes a long time to see results, to um, really see any effect of, of skincare. So there's only a few skincare items in my um, uh, fifth, top 15 here, but the majority of it is makeup just because you get instant results. So big thanks to Sephora and the PR agency for providing these products. They all they are all gifted. And again, you might be seeing some different products as I get through them uh, in some upcoming posts. But these are the ones that so far, after two and a half weeks, I've just gone, yep, winner. All right, so let's start off with some of the skincare items that I have really fallen in love with quite quickly. Um, the first thing I'll share with you is this mask from June Jacobs. Now, June Jacobs itself isn't new to Sephora. It's been around a little while. I've tried the lip mask, which I really like, some of the um, moisturizing stuff. Um, but the thing that I really like about this, so this isn't a new product as far as I know, but it's just in a new format. It's these new travel uh, friendly sachets. I think these are amazing. How great is that? Yes, obviously it's a smaller size, but I love the idea that you can pack some skincare with you when you're on the go and not have to worry about bringing a big jar that first of all is going to be very heavy and second of all might break. So it's almost like one of those sachets of baby food if you've seen those in the um, uh, supermarket. So you just take the lid off and I've um, tried this one already. It's quite nice. It's a little bit powerful though. It's a um, uh, enzyme mask. So for me personally, there was a bit of a tingle when I used it. Like my skin looked and felt really fresh. Um, I really like that these are really um, tightly closed. You really have to do a lot of damage to try and bust this open in your suitcase. So um, I just think this is a fantastic kind of innovative uh, packaging. Really, really like this one. The second item of skincare slash makeup, no, it's mostly skincare. It's from Makeup Forever and it's a hydrating serum. And I love putting this on underneath my moisturizer. So um, it's really, really thin and um, it just works like a tiny drop. I, I only use like two little drops and it covers the whole face and it makes the whole face feel like, it's almost like it creates a film on your face. It's really, really nice. I haven't tried a lot from Makeup Forever, so um, I'm excited that now that I've found this, and there's another product in this stash that I'm going to share with you, that, um, you know, I want to try a lot more from their range. I've only really tried some lipsticks and stuff like that. The third product is also from Makeup Forever and it's a lip booster. So it's like a skincare item for your lips. So it's not quite a lip balm. It's a little thinner than a lip balm. It's kind of um, liquidy. And um, the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't last all day in your lips. I do need to apply it two or three times if I am going to wear it throughout the day. But what I do like is that it smells really nice. It doesn't have any strong like taste or anything like that. But it um, just makes your lips feel so, so soft and supple. This is not something I was expecting to like. I just thought, oh, it's a really small bottle. It's quite expensive. Um, you know, it's just a lip, a lip balm, right? But no, it's quite different. Um, I really, really like this one. This is worth trying if you are in store and you see it. If I was a person that used the word bae, and if you could call makeup or skincare bae, then you know that your cosmetics would be my bae, right? <laughs> and um, um, and last year, about two or three times throughout the year, I had the cosmetics 
Confidence in a Cream as uh, one of my monthly favourites. And so I'm adding this now. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye um, Eye Cream. And um, I haven't seen any massive results with it or anything like that, but I just know that it smells really nice. It feels really nice. And my eyes do look really a lot more um, hydrated when I wake up in the morning. As I get a little bit older, I'm finding that not so much lines, although they're coming, um, but just the skin under my eyes is looking more and more crepey all the time. And this really light formula um, really makes... Um, everything just look a little bit more plump so it's not I don't think it's actually like plumping out my eyes but just the skin looks fresher and plumper so that's four so number five number five is the last actually it's not the last one here. number five is from first aid beauty which is going to be brand new to Sephora and it's the facial radiance pads so basically what they are a pre-soaked pad um, that has like uh, an exfoliant in it and so you um, wipe it all over your face and it will overnight kind of remove some of that um, the dead skin cells. Um, why I like these is because they're just as good as some really, really expensive ones in my collection, but they're not that expensive. So First Aid Beauty, uh, when it does finally launch in Sephora, is going to be one of those middle of the range brands. So it's uh, it's not quite like cheap drugstore um, skincare. It's also not like very, very high end. It's kind of at a really good price point for those people just sort of starting out in skincare. If you want some really good quality stuff but not at too expensive so um yeah these the reason why i really really was blown away with these is because they i actually might think they're better than some very expensive ones that i've gotten from sephora so um keep a look out for these these are a really a cult uh, favorite lots and lots of people love this the next thing is from the same brand and this is kind of a makeup skincare hybrid so this is a primer moisturizer um the thing i love most about this is the smell the scent of this is so delicious like i want to eat it like it's coconutty but not in like a sun lotion kind of way like it actually smells like a coconut dessert and so it's a kind of peachy colored um, lotion and you rub it in and it just gives your skin a really nice radiance and it, it feels really nice particularly underneath a really matte foundation so it's got this cooling effect I can feel it right now it's got this cooling effect it makes your skin just look nice and hydrated it smells really good it's called the coconut skin smoothie smoothie priming moisturizer safe for sensitive skin so a uh, moisturizer and a primer in one and I can't believe how cool it feels on your skin it must have like menthol or something in it. All right, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should be, um, you will have seen this feature um, in a lot of my like makeup of the days. I've been wearing this quite a lot. So this is the brand new uh, Becca primer. So it's called the Becca First Light Priming Filter. So it's part of the whole new um, um, lighting edit sort of thing. So this is a really lightweight primer. It's very different to the other primer that they carry, the backlit primer, which by the way, I can't use. Um, when it first came out, I went out, I was so excited, I purchased it, and um, immediately, the first time I used it, it made me have, like, it just brought on eczema all around my face, all around my mouth, sorry, and I thought, oh, maybe it's another product, so once that cleared up a few weeks later, I tried it again, and it happened again, so, not happy jam, but um, this one is completely different, now, this is another one that smells amazing, it smells like, it's kind of citrusy, uh, I'm not sure, I think lemony, maybe grapefruit, I don't know, but um, when you put it on, like, you pump it on, you put on, like, two pumps all over your face, and it's very thin, it's very refreshing, and it just like, I don't know, it just wakes you up. I just wish you could smell this, it's beautiful. So it's purple, but it doesn't go purple on the skin. But I think the fact that it is purple might have like a brightening effect, but it doesn't look purple at all. So it's not super shimmery like the um, backlit primer is. It just kind of gives a um, all over slight glow. Oh, I don't know, I don't want to say that it's, it's not shimmery at all. It's just radiant let's say radiant um i've actually worn this a couple of times when i haven't worn makeup and it just makes your skin look really really nice in terms of if it makes your makeup um last longer i'm not sure this is a really actually now that i um these two are really similar in the fact that they are really refreshing and hydrating um and this is one that i think i'm going to purchase um when this runs out because it's just there's something about it i love try this one out all right, I know this has been really skin based. I just said that there wasn't much skincare and then I've just gone ahead and given you a whole bunch of skin like related stuff. But this is another primer, three primers. Okay, so this one again, It Cosmetics, you know my feelings about them. So this one's different to the other two. While the other two are very hydrating and are very like refreshing and, and radiant, this one is all about like the mattifying. Um, so this one here reminds me a lot in the consistency, the smell, the feel of it. It reminds me a lot of the Hourglass uh, Veil Primer. Um, it comes in a pump pack, which I really, really like. 
Uh, let's see. So I've got that radiant one on there now. Let's see what this one does. So this one is a pore filler. It doesn't have that super like powdery feel that the pore professional has. Uh, it does so it doesn't feel super silicone-y, but it does have that kind of slick to it. Um, but you really need to use only a tiny bit because if you use more than a tiny bit, it gives you a white cast to your face, which doesn't show up in photos, but I don't know, I just don't like that. Um, so again, it's not, it's probably not the best to use this over the radiant one, but, um, in the morning when I put this on, my skin just feels really smooth and my makeup goes on really smooth. On to some makeup that I'm really excited about. The first thing I'll show you, or the first two things I'll show you are the brand new brow products from Zoeva. So they've come out with, um, a brow palette, which I haven't really used, uh, properly yet, which is just a, a palette full of different colored brow powders and highlights. So what I have tried is the Graphic Brows Pencil. It's called officially the... Waterproof and Smudge Proof Eyebrow Liner, Graphic Brows. And this is the Graphic Brow Fix. So this one here is a, so this one here is a tiny little um, brow pencil. Um, I like this one better than the Anastasia one. I feel like for me, there's more pigment in it. I always find that the brow is, um, is too hard and um, I just have to press really hard to get any color out of it. This one has a lot more pigment in it, but it's still so thin that it looks like hair, um, uh, strokes and then it's got a really nice little spoolie on the other end I can't do it because my hands are full of primer but yeah really nice spoolie and then this is um, a brow gel but it's kind of really sticky and goopy but not in a bad way so it really works very well to hold your brows up upwards um, I like to feather my brows quite a bit because I've got a lot of brow hair but there's not a lot of like it's quite they're quite thin so when I feather them and, and they seem to look a lot fuller I'm having trouble speaking today, but um, this one works really well to just kind of bulk them out a little bit. Um, so I really, really like these two, and I can't wait to use the brow powder. All right, next is a palette, and it's this palette here from It Cosmetics. Um, I'm wearing it today on my eyes for just a really soft, subtle kind of look. Um, if you've never used It Cosmetics um, eyeshadows, um, give them a try. They're really, really soft. And just like all of the cosmetics stuff, um, they are skincare and makeup in one. So the... Um, it Cosmetics eyeshadows always have like anti-aging properties to them. Um, so what this palette has is three um, eye kind of shadow bases, like they call them foundations, I think. Um, yeah, but some three um, different sort of like base colors and then a whole range of shades. And this is kind of new for me Cosmetics because all of the Cosmetics shadows that I have, I've always been quite neutral. Uh, and while this isn't the most like colorful palette, it is a lot more colourful than I've seen in the past. So there's some really nice shades in there. Um, I really feel like these sort of shades or these sort of um, shadows are really great for mature skin. They don't tug at all, they're really pretty, but they also have a lot of really nice sensible colours. Not that you have to be sensible, but you know what I mean. Um, next, on to another item that I'm using today. Um, you guys know I've talked about nude sticks quite a lot. Um, they've come out with a whole bunch of new products. Some skin glosses, which you use on your eyes or your cheeks. Some new shades of lipstick. But they've come out with a new formula called the Magnetic Matte Lipstick, I think it's called. Yes. Yes. Magnetic Matte Lip Colour. And so what they are is the way that Taylor described them to me was um, a liquid lipstick in pencil form. So they are a really smooth feeling lip pencil that dry down to be quite dry and matte and are absolutely transfer proof. So this, I did that um, swatch a little bit earlier and they are, you can't, you can't rub them off. They're absolutely like budge proof. So they do feel a lot like, so they are a little bit dry, but they do feel exactly like a um, liquid lipstick. They look uh, quite nice on. This is in the shade... Uh, Saint. It looks a lot darker in the um, on the crayon than it actually is. It's quite a nice rosy shade. Um, but yeah, they don't budge at all. This is the hand that had all that primer on it. Absolutely nothing. Can you see? Um, so yeah, these are really fantastic for all day wear. Um, the normal intense matte lip and cheek pencils, you can use those on the cheeks too and blend them out and use them on the cheeks as well. These ones, it's not recommended for that because they will dry instantly. So you put them on, put your pencil down, try and blend them out and you just have a line. <laughs> so not recommended for that. But um, otherwise, I really love the idea of this. This isn't going to leak in your bag. It's not going to be too runny and run off your lips. This is just like a precise pencil. Another lip colour that I am obsessed with at the moment, I can't believe they gave me this shade. Like, they just throw random stuff into these bags. So whether it's a hot pink lipstick or a green lipstick or whatever it is, um, you know, sometimes you just try out the formula rather than the colour. And that's cool. Um, there's a couple of foundations that I'm trying which are absolutely the wrong colour, but I'm just wearing them at home to get a feel for what the formula's like. 
Um, but the shade that I got in this Marc Jacobs liquid lipstick is absolutely perfect. So these are the Lamarck liquid lipsticks. You know that I love the um, Lamarck cream or the Le cream uh, lipsticks. They're some of my favorites. And this has now become one of my favorites as well. So the shade that they gave me, so lucky, is called Slow Burn. Um, so, you know, there's no... <laughs> There's no guessing whether I like this one or not. Um, so these are a little bit different. They're not, um, they're not like like a Huda Beauty kind of liquid lipstick where you put them on and they get really matte and dry. So they don't set to be absolutely budge proof, but they are really long wearing. Um, they do almost feel like a regular lipstick. Like they don't, they don't have that absolute liquid lipstick feel. Um, they smell really nice. They last a really long time. They're not too drying. Um, I just really, really like them. They do matte down a little bit more than this, um, but oh, they're so. I wish this stuff wasn't so good. I want to tell you that you know, don't buy the expensive stuff. Buy the cheap stuff. But sometimes the expensive stuff is just so good. Um, there are two last products that I want to show you, and they're kind of um, they kind of go together. The first product I'm so glad I got because it's not something I would have picked up for myself. It's the um, Kat Von D Locket um, powder. So I've got quite a few powders that I really, really like. So I wouldn't have gone out and bought this one. What this one is, is a really, really finely milled powder. And I am loving this one so much for baking under my eyes. Um, so it's translucent and it is truly translucent. It's not too white. Um, the It reminds me a little bit of the RCMA, but it doesn't give you that white cast that RCMA gives to me at least. Um, so I'm really, really liking this one. I'm so glad. Like... Again, I would never pick this up. I would have thought, oh yeah, powder is a powder, but I really, really like this one. And then the last thing that I want to show you um, that I'm really excited about from Sephora is um, one of the Kat Von D brushes. And you'll have to excuse it's very dirty because I've been using it for everything this week. So this is the number 20 brush. And the reason why I love it so much is it's just, look at this. You can see the powder kicking off, but it's just so soft. And the fact that the bristles are a little bit longer, um, I don't know, it kind of gives it this flexibility where it just hugs your face. Again, really, really soft, um, cruelty free, a really cool design. But I've been using this uh, to set my makeup. I've, look at this. <laughs> I've been using it for blush as well and also a little bit for contour. So um, just a really beautiful soft brush. And um, I think I'm going to buy some more of these brushes because I'm really blown away at how beautiful they are actually. Um, so that's not an extensive list of all the stuff that's coming out so far. There's so much stuff coming from brands like Tarte. Um, and, uh, I, but, I, but these are the things that I've been trying out a lot of in the last two and a half weeks and they're the things that I really went yep these are great and I've actually just put them straight into my collection um, I'm not going to show you but there's actually a massive bag there still full of stuff that um, I've tried and either haven't been that impressed with or just haven't really given a proper go to yet um, but they're my 15 items I think you need to try out from Sephora in the next six months um, let me know if you've tried any of these products perhaps you're in the US and you've already got these uh, in your stores um, and let me know um, anything else from Sephora that you think I need to try out um, I think it's going to be a very expensive six months because there's a lot of stuff coming out that I didn't receive that I really want to try out um, including things like the brand new cover FX drops um, the new Becca loose powder that looks beautiful also the cover FX um, spray there's a new setting spray from Marc Jacobs which I tried out on the day it's beautiful um, the uh, the new Tarte mascara which is like sweat proof transfer proof it looks amazing um, so much stuff so much stuff all right well, I'll leave it there thank you so much for watching and as usual thank you for spending some time with me and my little corner of the internet and I would love for you to subscribe or like this uh, video um, otherwise just have a really great day and uh, I'll catch you next time bye